Uh, remember when the Super Nintendo Classic Edition was just a rumor? And here we are. It's real. I mean, uh, NES Classic Edition came out and people were like, Oh, I hope Nintendo does a Super Nintendo Classic Edition. And now we got it. It's here. I can't, like, it seems like the NES Classic Edition just came out, but now we have the Super Nintendo Classic Edition. And it brings back a whole bunch of fantastic games from Nintendo's history. Now, when I look at my favorite Nintendo systems, I really think I'd have to put Super Nintendo at the top. I mean, the library of games that the system had was absolutely amazing, and there's just something really special about Nintendo's design when it came to Super Nintendo games. You know, it had obviously more horsepower than the NES, but the sound capabilities and the horsepower and just the, the evolution of their characters and what they tried to do with their franchises, it, it led to some really uh, amazing experiences and led to games that the industry would hold high above uh, many other games for years and years to come games that still influence developers to this day So for me the Super Nintendo Classic Edition is a fantastic experience And if you weren't around during the days of the Super Nintendo, this is a must-have I gotta be up front. I'm a Star Fox freak. I love the Star Fox franchise and I would have paid $80 just to play Star Fox 2. The fact that Star Fox 2 is on this system is mind-boggling to me. If someone told me that Nintendo was going to release Star Fox 2, I would have never believed it. But here it is on the Super Nintendo Classic Edition. And yes, I know you could have played the ROM, and there are fans who spruced up the ROM a bit to fix some of its issues, but this is an official release from Nintendo. This is the way the game was meant to be. Uh, and the fact that it's on here, I, I cannot get over it. Like, this is such a cool part of Nintendo history. And it's something I don't think Nintendo of like 15 years ago or 10 years ago would have done. But they've done it and they're they're acknowledging it and now they're letting everybody play it i just think that's such a cool thing to recognize i mean even if you're not into the star Fro fox franchise i would imagine that you can appreciate that nintendo gave us something really cool like this um like i said it, it's a selling point in and of itself for me and i still can't get over it of course, there's more than Star Fox 2 on the Super Nintendo Classic Edition. There's actually 20 other games, making for a total of 21. Now, you might look at the NES Classic Edition and think, well, that had 30. Why does this system only have 21? I don't want to say that there were any bad games in the NES Classic Edition, because I don't think there were bad games, but there were certainly games that didn't exactly stand the test of time, or at least for today, don't hold the same amount of gameplay content or replay value that gamers are looking for. The Super Nintendo Classic Edition lineup is absolutely outstanding. I really don't think there's a bad game in the mix. Like, every single one of them is still held in high regard to this day. Fans are still looking to play them. Fans still talk about them. Uh, there's just so much good stuff here. It's crazy. It's a perfect snapshot of what the Super Nintendo offered back in the day and how Nintendo elevated their franchises and what other developers were doing as well. And these are a lot more meatier experiences, not stuff that you're going to play for like five minutes and put down. By and large, most of them are games that you're going to have to pour hours into to completely experience. So I think you're actually getting the better deal here. And if you're going the retro route and you want to get cartridges for your Super Nintendo, there's going to be a few these that are hard to find and then there's going to be a few of them that are really pricey to grab as well and if you're going the virtual console route you're going to spend more because uh what's virtual console eight bucks for super nintendo games and you got 21 here so that's over 160 bucks so this is definitely a smarter package it makes sense dollar wise and the content like i said i feel is really top notch you can't forget that there's a second controller in this box as well, which is something that the NES Classic Edition didn't provide. And there are a number of great two-player games on the Super Nintendo Classic Edition. There's Contra 3, uh, Donkey Kong Country, Super Mario Kart, Super Mario World. Again, things that are going to take up a lot of time if you're playing uh, with a friend especially. So it's not like you're going to play for 10 minutes and be like, okay, we're done. These are meaty experiences and having a friend sit there for couch co-op. That's something that Nintendo continued to this day. They really appreciate couch co-op. Now, obviously, they've embraced online multiplayer and stuff like that. But couch co-op and local multiplayer is important to Nintendo. And you're getting that here. And it, it fits in with the, with the vibe. It fits in with the Super Nintendo vibe. Because when you were playing back then, if you were playing multiplayer, you were playing with friends in the same room. So you get that same experience. And it's nice that you don't have to go out of your way to get another controller. It's in the box already, so you can have two-player right off the bat. One of the most important things is that these games look, play, sound, and feel right. Clone systems are a big market today, and I think that's great. I think having a system that lets you play your classic cartridges on TVs of today is a great thing. I have a few of them. 
But I do recognize that when you play in those systems, sometimes a game doesn't look right, sometimes a game doesn't sound right, and that can take away from the experience. With the Super Nintendo Classic Edition, you're going to get as close as you possibly can to the original content if you were playing on the Super Nintendo. Everything's going to be as it should. I've seen one minor, minor hiccup in Yoshi's Island, but outside of that, everything is absolutely perfect. And I think that's worth pointing out. If you're someone who played these games back in the day on the Super Nintendo, you're going to have memories of the game looking and feeling a certain way or sounding a certain way. And with this system, you get that. I gotta point out that there's also games like Star Fox, Star Fox 2, and Yoshi's Island on here, and they use the Super FX chip. These are games that haven't been released on the Virtual Console. And if you're gonna play Yoshi's Island in recent years, you're gonna have to go with the GBA port, and man, does that port make me angry. It doesn't really look the part, and it certainly doesn't sound the part. So having Yoshi's Island as it should be through the Super Nintendo Classic Edition is fantastic in my opinion. It's such an amazing game, and my memories of that game are so vivid that when I played the GBA version, I was like, no, this is all wrong. And playing this version, I'm like, ah, this is how it should be. So getting these games here that we didn't get on the Virtual Console is another little uh, awesome addition to the system. You get the bells and whistles that were on the NES Classic Edition, uh, plus a few more here. So you get the save states, and you also get filters to make the game look like a CRT or other stuff. Then there's borders, and there's also the rewind feature, so you can take a game back a little bit or move it forward uh, from your rewind. You know, if you're a cheater, <laughs> uh, I mean, if you're going to use that feature, it's fine. But obviously, I think the most important one here is save states, because it lets you be more flexible with where and when you can save a game. And sometimes, you know, something pops up, and you can't make it to a save save point and you're like well back in the day you were like well I guess I gotta turn the game off and that was that but obviously now you don't have to do that so it's nice to see that feature return I have an NES Classic Edition and I'm really happy I do I think it's a fantastic package but if I'm being completely honest I think the Super Nintendo Classic Edition blows it away I mean there are more games in the NES Classic Edition which I've said but again the games in the Super Nintendo Classic Edition are bigger they're gonna be more beefy experiences there's more to see and do Plus, these are watershed moments in the video game industry. These are games that are considered to be some of the best, if not the best, in their respective franchises. Stuff like Super Metroid, or Super Mario RPG, or Mega Man X, or Cast Super Castlevania 4. Uh, amazing experiences that are still talked about today. If you haven't played these games, you absolutely have to. I mean, I'm trying to think of people who wouldn't be interested in this system. I'm guessing maybe someone who has all of these Super Nintendo cartridges and still has their original system. Then I could understand. But still, you're missing out on Star Fox 2, which is a big deal for me. And then save states and stuff like that. But outside of someone like that, I don't know. Somebody that hates Nintendo, I guess, wouldn't buy these games. There's just so many great games. Games that you have to experience if you haven't. And uh, I think it's a system that you're going to play for a very long time. Hey guys, RMC here from Go Nintendo. If you like what you saw in the video, why don't you give us a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe? We'd love to have you. If you want to see what else we're up to, you can check out GoNintendo.com for 24-hour Nintendo news. You can visit us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash GoNintendo. You can check us out on Twitter at Twitter.com slash GoNintendoTweet. And we're even over on Instagram at Instagram.com slash GoNintendo. I put all the links in the description just to make it easier for you guys to follow. Thanks a lot!